Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I wanna to give you a quick tech tip on how you can enable IDX to embed on your website. What does that mean? You can have the MLS active listings, pending listings, et cetera, showing on your website. So clients that go on your website can easily search through all the different categories and filter how many beds, bath, et cetera. And it will pull all of the listings directly from the MLS right on your website. All right, I'm gonna share my screen with you and we will get started. The first thing you need to do is go into Netris, which is matrix.netris.net and log in as usual. Once you are logged in, you're gonna go up to the top right to your name where it says hello with your name. Click that and click on settings. Once you're here, you're going to click on IDX configuration. And then in this screen, you're going to click on, I'm sorry, uh, create a new IDX page right here at the top. And then you're gonna name your page right here. So I'm just gonna say test. Then form selection, I recommend map search. However, you can also select my listings. So map search, we want to go over here to search form and change this to IDX search. Under map area, I would leave this as do not specify a map area. That way it will show the map for any area. And then down here under activation, be sure to change this to IDX enabled. And then down here, you can select include sign up form and you can edit what the detail of this message would say. Now, keep in mind, this is going to require people to fill in their information before they can actively search. So it will restrict some people from using this feature if they don't feel comfortable submitting their information. So I would just recommend unchecking that. Once you have selected everything, click on save. And now you will see where it says Hotmail, you will see this code here. This is the code that you will use to embed the IDX onto your website. Now, if you are using command, this is an easy way that you can build this page to add your IDX to your website. Copy this Hotmail code, so just highlight it and copy. In command, you're gonna go down here to consumer, which is at the very bottom left. And then you're gonna go up to create a new page. On my agent site, create page. Now, when you are building a custom landing page for your website or even just a landing page, you always have to have a widget in use for it to function and actually save. So one that I particularly like that's easy to apply to any custom page is this download my app feature. And with this particular IDX, it's going to really flow well because it's going to show them that they can search for homes there or they can download your app and search for homes that way. So you just click on download my app and drag it over here and drop it and it does this. Once again, you can use any of these though. Let's say you wanna use agent profile, you just click and drag it over and it will be like this. Once you have selected the widget that you want to use, you only have to have one. You can use as many as you like though. Make sure you go down here to content blocks and then click and drag text to the top. This is where you're going to delete the words here and paste your iframe code that you got from matrix right here, your Hotmail code, okay? So paste that here and then go down to configure widgets 
You can change any of this if you like, but I'm just gonna save and apply. And now save changes. Would you like to continue and publish? Yes. Now that brings you to your agent site pages. So lastly, you just go down here to add page. And then the one that we just did was new agent site. Don't forget to name your page. I did forget to show you that part. But at the very top left of your landing page, you can name it. As you see, I've got all these different names of my other pages. So name it, I, I named mine browse listings. So that way it's really easy for them to know which page they wanna click on when they're on your website. Continue. This is where you'll name the title of the page. So let's just say it's gonna be test, but in the correct example, it would be browse listings is what I like. URL slug. If it's two words, you just put a dash between. And then SEO description, you can type whatever you, this page is about here. So search for your dream today. And then save. Once you have saved, then you will see under agent site pages that it is active because this little eyeball will be blue. And when you click on it, you can see exactly what that page does. So here's the one that I did earlier. And you will see, there we go, that it's got everything from the MLS, all the search criteria here. So they can say residential, single family, um, let's say $400,000 max. And then let's go down here to zip code. Maybe they want to be in 76058. Then when I click apply, now I can see all of these homes that are available. And at the very bottom here of the page, you'll see my widget, which was the download app. And it even has my information from my website. So that is how you can add the IDX to your website. And if you're using command, how you can add that to your website in command. If you have any questions, I'm always here to help. Have a great day.